Hey guys, this is Shumon from AAC Technical. Today I am going to show you how to fix media test failure, check cable and no bootable device problem. If your desktop computer or laptop fails to boot and gives the error messages such as PXC-E61 media test failure, check cable or PXC-M0F existing PXC ROM, no bootable device, insert boot disk and press any key. Then this indicates that a problem with your PC's PXC, I mean pre-boot execution environment. There are several reasons that could cause this to happen. The most common caused by a failing hard drive and most often when the BIOS settings are incorrectly configured. And when the boot device, I mean the internal hard drive of a PC that cannot be read perfectly. However, don't panic, this video will help you to fix media test failure and no bootable device problem. Well, let's get started. At first, let's start with some easy method. Now just follow the instructions exactly. Just press Ctrl plus Alt plus Del combination to restart your computer and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS with hitting on F2 key or hitting on F2 plus Del combination for desktop computer. Alright, next go to boot menu. Then select boot mode option using up and down arrow key on the keyboard. And then hit enter to change the boot mode option before change the BIOS mode. Note, if your PC's OS is installed in legacy BIOS mode, then select legacy. If your PC's OS is installed in UEFI BIOS mode, then select UEFI. Now let me tell you why, because sometimes while upgrading the BIOS then most of the time the boot mode automatically changes to the default BIOS mode. That's why sometimes this kind of problem can be occurred. So change the BIOS mode UEFI to legacy or legacy to UEFI and confirm that what was the system BIOS mode before upgrading the BIOS. Then go to exit menu. Select exit saving changes option to save configuration changes. Then select yes and then hit enter to saving changes and exit from BIOS as you can see. If you are lucky, then this simple method may help you to solve your problem. You are done, as you can see. Now let's go to the second method. Now just follow the instructions exactly. Just press Ctrl plus Alt plus Del combination to restart your computer. And be ready to enter your PC's BIOS with hitting on F2 key or hitting on F2 plus Del combination for desktop computer. Alright, next go to main tab as you can see. Next find out network boot option and just disable it if enabled. Alright, next go to boot tab and then arrange the boot priority order list sequentially. For example, select and configure your specific internal hard drive as the default boot drive. Now just select your specific internal hard disk drive using up and down arrow key on the keyboard and just move the HDD upwards of the list using F6 key on the keyboard. It means that the HDD is now selected and configured as the default boot drive. Then go to exit menu. Select exit saving changes option to save configuration changes. Then select yes and then hit enter to saving changes and exit from BIOS as you can see. After that hopefully your problem will be solved. Yeah done as you can see. If you want to boot to Windows on an external USB drive, then make sure the USB drive is fully connected to the USB port. Check that if enable the USB boot option in BIOS setup. Now just follow me to check. Just press Ctrl plus Alt plus Del combination to restart your computer and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS with hitting on F2 key on hitting on F2 plus Del combination for desktop computer. Alright, next go to boot tab. Now just select your external USB boot device using up and down arrow key on the keyboard 
and just move the external USB boot device upwards of the list using F6 key on the keyboard. That means the external USB boot device is now selected and configured as the default boot drive. Then go to exit menu. Select exit saving changes option to save configuration changes. Then select yes and then hit enter to saving changes and exit from BIOS as you can see. After that hopefully your problem will be solved. You are done as you can see. If you want to boot to Windows with a network device, then at first check the network cable is fully plugged in. Note, your PC must be connected to the good quality Ethernet pass cable. If there is not a solid connection, then the PXC won't be able to communicate over the network and will produce the PXC-E61 error. Now just press Ctrl plus Alt plus Dell combination to restart your computer and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS with hitting on F2 key or hitting on F2 plus Dell combination for desktop computer. Alright, let's go to main tab as you can see. Next find out network boot option and just enable it if disabled. Alright, let's go to boot tab and then select network boot IP version 4. And just move this network boot IP version 4 upwards of the list using F6 key on the keyboard. It means that the network boot IP version 4 is now selected and configured as a default network device. Then go to exit menu, select exit saving changes option to save configuration changes. Then select yes and then hit enter to saving changes and exit from BIOS as you can see. After that hopefully your problem will be solved. You're done as you can see. If the PXE-E61 error is due to a misconfigured BIOS settings, then just follow me to reset the BIOS to default setup. Now just press Ctrl plus Alt plus Dell combination to restart your computer and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS with hitting on F2 key or hitting on F2 plus Dell combination for desktop computer. Now just hit the F9 key on the keyboard. Then just hit enter to continue. Then go to exit menu, select exit saving changes option to save configuration changes. Then select yes and then hit enter to saving changes and exit from BIOS as you can see. After that hopefully your problem will be solved.
यू आर डन एज यू कैन सी वी होप यू विल लाइक ऑफ कोर्स लेट एस नो योर ओपिनियन इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन दिन प्लीज लेट एस नो प्लीज लाइक कमेंट शेयर वी नीड योर सपोर्ट एंड गाइज प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल थैंक यू थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग हैव ए नाइस डे